Welcome back to the Online Education Success Series of the Explorations Learning Network. Really happy that you came back today because we will be talking about what we do every day. Activities of daily living. Hi, I'm Avi Anderson and this is the Explorations Learning Network. The world is a complex place and in some ways technology is making it easier but also requiring that you learn more in order to compete, survive, and thrive. Most people agree that in this world where time is limited, the most convenient and often the fastest way to learn is getting on the internet. If you, your cat, your dog, or even your child is sick, you can get online and look up the symptoms. This can often help you decide if you need to take them in to see a healthcare professional or just whip them up a batch of your famous chicken noodle soup. You can do the same for a problem with your car, not the chicken noodle soup, but looking it up, or with removing a spot on your carpet, fixing a leaky faucet, or planning the details of your next vacation. Using the internet to assist with activities of daily living is probably the most utilized form of e-learning going on each and every day. Individuals all around the world access a variety of sites to assist with their day-to-day -day activities. These activities include using search engines like Google, Bing, or Yahoo to find information, using video sources like YouTube and Vimeo to learn how to do whatever. <laughs> In 2011, YouTube had an average of 140 views for every person on the planet. Using sites like HowStuffWorks.com, Answers.com, and Reddit.com to get answers to questions. Using specialized search engines like Wolfram Alpha to find answers to complex questions involving mathematics and scientific queries. Accessing sites like Khan Academy to learn how to solve differential equations, understand macroeconomics, or get an overview of the representative structures of organic molecules. <laughs> Subscribing to online learning providers like lynda.com, a video-based learning community that has more than 1,400 courses and is adding almost 24 new courses each month. Every day, people are using e-learning sites like WebMD, Women's Health, and the Mayo Clinic to get information on thousands of different health conditions. According to a recent report, one in three Americans have gone online to self-diagnose and triage a health condition. According to the Pew Internet and American Life Project, almost 15% of Americans use some form of technology to track their health data. What are some of the other ways that people use the internet every day? Hmm, well, according to our buddies at the Pew Research Center, 59% of Americans use a search engine to find information each day. 45% of internet users get their news online. 35% of us use it to learn about a hobby. 34% track the weather, including real-time tracking of lightning storms and tornadoes. 23% conduct research for their job each day. 17% of Americans use Wikipedia for information. 17% search for driving directions or view a map. 15% of us use social networks every day. 11% use a how-to or do-it-yourself service. 10% read a blog. 7% use discussion forums to help others with personal problems or health issues. 6% take a virtual tour of another place every day. And 1% visit virtual worlds like Second Life. So, in most cases, no matter what you're doing online, chances are you're learning how to get through the day-to-day -day activities that are part of your life. The Explorations Learning Network is a production of Clark College and is sponsored through generous donations and the support of students and faculty. Mark Gaither is our producer and director, and this episode was sponsored through a Department of Labor grant administered by the Washington State Workforce Training and Education Coordinating Board. 
The Workforce Training and Education Coordinating Board is a partnership of labor, business, and government dedicated to helping Washington residents obtain and succeed in family wage jobs while meeting employers' needs for skilled workers. I'm Aviance Anderson for the Explorations Learning Network, advancing learning for the information age.